Cambridge on Saturday, another one of the new boys. So uh, given the fact that they've got still a bit of momentum after their promotion behind them, even at this stage, it's always going to be tough, isn't it? Well, I think up to this point, you know, what I've learned very quickly about the league is that everybody is capable of beating everybody. You know, there's, there's, no, there's no gimmies in the league. Um, we've had a few unusual results up to this point and people are still finding their feet. And I don't think it'll, it'll sort of... You know, we, 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 we'll really see where the league is probably after 12 or 15 games and who's going to be in contention. I mean, I don't think anybody would have thought no disrespect that, that Markham would have won the first four games. They've had a, a terrific start. But that's that, that's the league, you know. You, you take every game as it comes and I know it's the old cliche, but it, it's vitally important that we do. I was I was pretty pleased with, with certainly the, the, the mindset and the work ethic of the players from the weekend. We just need to gain that little bit of composure, have that little bit more luck. And then... Um, and hopefully get the win, and, and and once we do get the win, I'm sure that'll 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 be a catalyst for a for hopefully a good run. Cambridge obviously got the the aerial threat of, of, of Big Elliot up front, and Ryan Donaldson as well, a player who was on trial here. You'll know all about. Yes, I've, I've seen him quite a bit last season. Um, I went to watch them at Halifax in the playoffs at the end of last season. Um, they actually play football. They've got Cedric there, who's, who's come off the bench. Um, not Cedric. What's his name? The boy was that. Um, MK Downs, Chadwick, Chadwick. Um, who's come off the bench and um, he's obviously a very good player, he's, he, he's had very good pedigree, you know, he's had a good career and um, he, knows the, he knows the levels, but uh, you know, they're, they're, they're a very honest team, they, they work extremely hard for each other, as all the teams do in the league, uh, they'll be well organised, as you said, they're at home, maybe the honest will be on them to come out and play, and maybe that may suit us, but you know, again, and I, I've said it before and I'll continue to say, I, I always feel it's about the d dynamic of our group, what our approach is, what our mindset is, more importantly from the from the players' aspect, and I'm sensing and feeling from them that they they, they are starting to grow, starting to gel. I didn't didn't realise, but I do think up to this point there's been one or two who probably because the the age and experience of the group have, have probably found the, the 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 confidence levels drain a little bit because the you know we haven't had the had the wins, but um it's important we just keep putting an arm around them, keep giving them the belief. And uh, and as I say, as soon as as soon as we get that first win, however it comes, you know whether it's an ugly an ugly victory or it's a or it's a, a free flowing football victory, um, we we we'll take it, we'll we we'll, um, hopefully build on it and hopefully we we'll, we'll gain some confidence from it, and we'll we'll see the true identity of the team.